Hi, this is Dana, and welcome to my channel. Today's going to be a little different video. It's like a get unready with me. But I've also, besides being enrolled in the makeup school, I am enrolled in the hairstyling essentials course. And I have long, thin, partially colored hair. And it gets really tangled up. So while we're talking, I'm going to show you what I do. Uh, I get really hot during the day. My body has a hard time maintaining an even temperature. Mostly I'm hot, but every once in a while I'm cold. And today was one of those uh, burr, I'm cold days. My daughter has been in the hospital. And uh, when I went to see her this morning, it was very cold. And I didn't know where my heavy jacket was. So I just wore my little short leather looking jacket. And um, what I'm trying to do now is take gently the hairband or this thing out of my hair and uh, start brushing it out and try to detangle it. Like I said, usually during the day I have it put up. This is the longest I've had my hair in many, many years. So, first of all, I'm going to start out with a brush that I got. It's mainly for combing wet hair. And I usually start in the front and work on the sides. You can see part of my natural color and part of my blonde color and purple color. Uh, I do like to color my hair and play with it, but I uh, haven't been able to. I usually have someone else do it, and I haven't been able to go to the beauty shop for some time. I uh, do need to get my hair cut. Uh because it's really got that witchy poo look. And then after I do the sides, I usually don't have any problems at all with them. But I have a lot of problems in the back of my head. And so I try to use some kind of wet styling product. This is uh, Pantene's hair styling serum. And I'm going to start out by putting it right where I feel the tangles in the back of my head. Normally, I would just put it on the ends, but it feels pretty tangled. So I'm going to put an extra big dose. And where it's tangled so bad in the back, I'll start at the top of my head and brush as much as I can. A section at a time until my tangles come out and actually my hair has been so tangled see it's really 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 long but it has been so tangled that I've had to put heavy conditioner on my hair at night and sleep with it before I can get it untangled and uh, even start but that comes from my illness that I primarily deal with and I get the bed head and it's not a very flattering look short hair or long hair as you can see I'm doing it in sections coming down to the end and I keep on flipping it from side to side because I do it a section at a time from top to the bottom. And this is keep it real time. My hair really falls out. So usually I have to stop and get my hair out of the brush. 
uh, and I keep on combing from top to bottom. I'm about in the middle of the back of my hair now, so I'm close to having the tangles out. But notice once again how I flip it back and forth and sort of hold on to it if your hair is long because that'll keep you from flipping the other hair that you already have straight back into another tangle. And if you have long hair or you have a chronic illness that sometimes put you in bed for a while. It's really important that you keep your hair short or long combed or brushed. And if you're not able to do it, ask someone to do it for you. Um, because my daughter was very ill back in 2011 and she ended up having to get her hair cut quite quite short because of the persistent tangles in her hair and so a beautician came to the hospital and cut all her long beautiful hair off of course she did a fabulous job on the cut um and it was really cute but it was sad to see all her long hair go and I guess I've done this because while I was working, uh, I didn't let my hair really grow out a lot because I was getting it cut and colored more often. And now trying to live on a fixed and ever decreasing small retirement from the federal government <laughs> with my insurances going up <laughs> it didn't matter that we got an increase in our check because I didn't gain anything uh, because the insurance deductions went up so much I'm actually making less but my husband is still active in the workforce, so we don't depend solely on anything I got, although my income usually helps pay for the groceries. So, a while back when I was having problems, we were really having problems with just the basic necessities. Uh, because I'm not a good budgeter and um, my money wasn't coming in to help buy the groceries. So it was just really rough. And then we got it partially straightened out. And uh, I was supposed to receive some health insurance paperwork from the government back the 1st of December, and here it is in March. And I still haven't got it out. Got it out. Got it yet. I've called them once, and uh, that didn't help get it. What I had to do before is, and I don't recommend this because I work for the federal government, and I know what a strain it causes and stress on the employees, but I had to contact my congressman and I did write my president a letter because I am a veteran and that doesn't entitle me to anything. But I did work at the VA and was retired and not getting my retirement money. And uh, henceforth, they were not paying our insurance. And so our insurance company dropped us due to non-receipt of payment. They're like not going to keep us on for free forever. But anyway, haven't quite got that straightened out. Um, I hope too soon. Like I said, if I have to, I'll go through my congressman again and I'll write the president again. 
um, I think I've probably mentioned this before. Whenever you write the president, <laughs> it puts you on the Secret Service Department of Treasury radar because the president and the other elected officials get quite a routine large amount of threats from our citizens or non-citizens. And so, like I said, this is not something I wanted to do, but in order to get it resolved, I may have to do that. <clears throat> anyway, thank you for listening to me chat. Um, I would ask you, if you're so inclined, to please say prayers for my daughter's continued healing and um, send positive energy our way. Please be kind to one another and don't forget, we love you. Bye. <music>